Welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. When it comes to formality in classic menswear, there are certain features that determine whether something is more casual or more formal. For example, a Derby shoe, which has an open lacing system, is more casual than an Oxford shoe, which has a closed lacing system. When it comes to suits, a peak lapel is more formal than a notch lapel. An overlooked area in terms of determining formality of a suit jacket or a sport coat is its pockets. So today we're going to take a quick look at three different kinds of jacket pockets and where they fall within the levels of formality for a sport coat or a suit jacket. So the first item I have on here is a gray flannel suit from Bergenberg. And we'll take a look at the pockets that it has on the jacket. So these are the most formal type of pocket. They are called either besom pocket, you may hear them referred to as jetted pockets, or welted pockets, double welt pockets, and the welting refers to the reinforcing of this, the uh, opening, essentially. So it's really just a slit that's made in the fabric and there's pocket lining under there. Um, it's very clean and smooth, and for that reason, it's probably the most formal. Um, you don't really see um, any jutting out of the pockets on the side. The fabric is essentially clean. They're almost invisible. And you'll also find these on tuxedos or evening wear, black tie wear, um, and that testifies to the high level of formality that they represent. So as I said, uh, just basically a slit with two reinforced, uh, reinforced edging uh, to keep it from fraying or tearing. And this is the jetted pocket, the besom pocket, or the welt pocket. So next up in terms of formality, we have a dark chocolate brown flannel from Rosenborn. And both of these suits, and the third one that I'll be showing you as well, are essentially semi-casual suits, as far as a suit can be casual, because they're not worsted wool. They're flannel, and for that reason, they have a little, they tend a little bit more toward the casual, but certainly still appropriate for the workplace. So we'll take a look at the pockets on this one and see why it is in between in terms of where it fits in the scale of formality. So as you can see here, we've got flat pockets. A flat pocket is referring, obviously, to the flap that goes over the pocket. And this one actually has a ticket pocket as well, so a second, slightly smaller flat pocket right above the other. Flat pockets are more casual because they are originally designed for country wear. The flap designed to keep dirt from going into the pocket and also from keeping, uh, to keep stuff from coming out of the pockets when people were riding horses or out in the country and being more active generally than they would be in an urban environment. So as such, just because of their country associations, uh, the flat pocket has a greater informality. Now the ticket pocket actually, in the presence of one, can also be seen as something that adds to the casualness of the suit. Now, these were originally used to put in tickets when men rode uh, the trains, took the railways out to their country homes or to pursue country things uh, after having been in the city. So again, you have that affiliation with the countryside. Um, flat pockets can be turned into simulated jetted pockets simply by tucking in the flap, and you can see that here. It looks exactly like a welted pocket or a besom pocket or a jetted pocket, well, just by tucking in the, the flap. So uh, if you're going to go for something that's sort of middle of the road, I highly recommend the flat pocket because you have that versatility. If you want it to uh, look a little more formal, you tuck in the flap. If you want to go with a uh, more casual or in-between look, uh, or if you're worried stuff will fly out of your pockets, then just take the flap out. So these are uh, probably the most popular for suiting uh, in the present day. This jacket also has other features of the color of the suit itself, uh, makes it more casual. Brown, uh, never wear brown in town, right? So this is more of a country suit, given that it is brown. Um, not so much the case, perhaps, outside of London. Um, not the case in the US, for example. Uh, but the brown association is with country wear. So that's kind of an added reason why this is more casual. But the pockets are what we're focusing on, and the flap places it in the intermediary, uh, in, inter intermediary spot in the scale of formality, jetted pocket, flat pocket. Now let's take a look at the third suit. 
So the third suit I have is a blue window pane. Uh, it's blue with a large greater window pane on it. The color being in the family of navy could make it more formal than the brown, certainly something to be worn in an urban environment rather than in the country. But the pockets also make it casual, and I'll show you that right now. So these are patch pockets, and as the name suggests, it's just sort of a patch of the same fabric as the suit laid onto the outside or appliqued or applied to the outer part of the, to the surface of the suit itself. And the patch pocket is the most casual of the three pocket types we're looking at today. Probably because it's the most visible, it's on the outside, it's an extra thing, um, so they, they can be seen more obviously. Patches, I guess, will be more casual overall rather than something that you don't see as much. And patch pockets are also popular on other types of casual jackets, sport coats, safari jackets, um, hunting jackets, riding jackets, and so forth. A lot of the more casual styles, the more sporty styles, have patch pockets on them. So despite the um, overall color of this jacket and even the window pane pattern, being a bit more formal or appropriate for business wear in the city, a patch pocket also brings it down to a more casual range. So that's a quick overview of how pockets can help determine the formality of a suit or a sport coat, the range being besom pocket, jetted pocket, or welted pocket as the most formal, the flat pocket as being an intermediary and a safe bet, and then the patch pocket being the most casual in terms of uh, helping, determining the f helping to determine the formality of what you're wearing. So keep that in mind as you select a suit or sport coat, being aware of the environment or the milieu in which you will be wearing that suit. If you're wearing it in a strictly business environment, you want to gravitate toward the more formal end of the spectrum. If you're wearing it for fun, if you want to split the suit off to be something uh, that you can wear on the weekend, then go for a patch pocket because the patch pockets look like they might be separates and sport coats, whereas the besom pocket looks like it's part of a suit. So that would be something to consider as you think about your wardrobe. So I hope you found that information useful. If you did, like the video and subscribe to our channel, Gentlemen Scholars Club. Thanks for watching.